Hey guys, uh, what we're going to do today is talk about how to create an Eventbrite registration site for your Dinner with Doc program. What you're looking at on the screen right now is my bullseye so you can easily track me. This is a flyer that we create for you. All you need to do is send me your information in regards to time, date, um, name of restaurant, and if that restaurant has a website, send me that URL so I can download the images and create this flyer for you. I'll send this flyer to you. You can take it and you can utilize it uh, as meet and greets, uh, check in, check out. Uh, just use it as a promotional piece. Uh, we also have postcards that we can create for you if you want to use those. So once you get this flyer, um, you can take a screenshot of it so you can use those graphics for Eventbrite. If you don't know how to do that, um, just let me know and I can create those flyers for you. If you have a Macintosh, what you can do is you can collect you can uh, push down on command shift 4 it'll turn your cursor into crosshairs like you're seeing here on the screen and you can simply click hold and drag around your flyer and it will download a PNG file to your desktop and it looks just like your PDF but this is the image it will upload into Eventbrite okay so that said let's go over into Eventbrite now and we're gonna use Dr. Connects account because he does have a dinner coming up on November 13th uh, he's got it already in here but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new event so we can walk you through it first thing you need to do is sign up with Eventbrite it's free it's easy once you get in uh, first thing you might do is set up your profile and that's gonna be a little bit about you so this would be upper cervical house centers um, the website URL, stuff like that, just details about you, the organizer. You choose your file for your organizer logo. You can upload an Upper Cervical Health Center's logo. So you go back to here, and first thing you want to do is create an event. Okay. What's your event title? This is a free dinner. If I can type, I'd be better off. Free dinner with Doc. Now the venue name, it is at Bella Milano. The address, type that in, and Eventbrite automatically generates a Google map, which is nice. Um, go down here to your event time. This event is on November 13th. It starts at 6 o'clock p.m and you want to display the tar start time on your uh, your registration page. Um, your end date, you don't have to display that. I recommend not because you just don't know if you're going to go an hour, hour and a half, two hours. Um, when you go here down below, you upload your logo. So we've created that flyer for you or that, that image for you, which is right here and I will send that to you when I send you the flyer and then what you can do is you will choose the file navigate to your desktop there it is right here you simply chose choose it upload it we got an error message for some reason maybe it's because it's Safari I don't know but let's try it again desktop. There's the image, choose it. Okay, well it's not uploading right now, so we're not going to upload it, but that is how you do it. And I'm sure this is a Safari issue. Um, down here under the event description, that screenshot that we took of the PDF flyer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna browse here. We're gonna browse here. We're gonna browse to your desktop. Once you get to your desktop, you're going to find a flyer, PNG. There it is. Open it. And then here you click Upload Files. This is the library that we have set up currently. And then we will select that. Very important here. Under the Appearance section, you want to set your width of this to 600. Uh, that way it will keep it within the confines of the of the page on Eventbrite. 
and you tab it, it'll constrain proportions, and then you insert it. And there it is. Down below that, next thing you have to do is you have to um, create a ticket. So this is a free, uh, free event. So you're gonna write your ticket name, which you know, I will be there. Ticket information, say you've got 30 people that can fit at your restaurant, that's perfect. Free price on sale under your settings. If you have some other information you want to say there, you know, like bring a friend. You can do it there. And then of course your sale time starts the day that you create the event and your end time, especially with this program because it is free, you could just let it go to the, uh, the day of the event. If it's uh, a paid event and you've got early bird pricing or something like that, you can, uh, you can select a date earlier. Okay, and then here you can set the minimum or maximum number of tickets. This is the event capacity, which is 30. You push apply there. And what you do next is save it. Try to get that. Try to get that logo back up there. Let's see if that is going to work for us here. Not sure why that's working, but anyway. All right, under colors and options, this is important. If you go to preview right now, the colors that are by default don't really match uh, anything here in the in the layout. We get a lot of reds, a lot of blues, a lot of some grays. So what we want to do under this, go back under close preview, and under colors and options, you can s select here by um, the templates that they give you, which are pretty good, right? But if you want to modify the colors, what you can do is you say, well, I like this red here. It gives you a click on it and you can select, you know, you can slide it around and play with it because it'll, it'll automatically uh, render below so you can see what the color colors look like. So let's do this color combination. Uh, header background just to give you a look to see how it changes. Now, if you like a color, like I like this color here. Here's the number for it. You can copy and paste this number and go back here under there and just paste it so you know you keep the colors consistent and then bam looks just like the other colors if you got a background you want to change it up you can do it here uh, box background you can do something like that if you want to do a gray or something you can do that and the box border let's use that color of the red paste that in there save so that's what you got Okay, and then you can also always preview this at any time. Save it. And let's preview it just so we can see how it's looking to make sure everything looks good. So it looks pretty good. Um, those reds don't really match all that well, but you get the idea of that. Okay, so we go back to close your preview. Now what you want to do is you want to manage manage the event. So right now, by default, what happens is Eventbrite gives you this URL. So this is actually your your event website link. So if you click on it, it'll take you. Well, we didn't make it live yet. So I got some emails coming through. So this is a unique URL for your event. Okay, so what we want to do is we don't want to put this on all of your promotional flyers because people will never remember this. So what I like you guys to do is go to GoDaddy and for instance, for Dr. Dr. Connect's dinner, we're gonna purchase freedinnerglencarbon.com. Once you have that domain name, that URL, any event, any dinner you have you can link it or forward this address to your Eventbrite page. So he he would take this, he purchases this, I think it's $12.99 for the year. Then once you get it set up, then in the back end of this under your account, it's called email or it's called, I'm sorry, domain forwarding or website forwarding. So what you'll do is you'll go into that control panel, that back end, and you will copy this event here 
that URL and paste it into GoDaddy for the email or the website forwarding. I'm sorry, I keep saying email. You want to forward it, forward it to that um, Eventbrite page. To make it even easier, you can put your own URL in here. Then carbon dinner and save it. And so that's your URL, but the thing is, you still got Eventbrite tied to it. So the point of buying your own domain is so you can have uh, you can do future dinners, future events for for one domain, free dinner Glen Carbon or whatever it may be, and then have it forwarded to your Eventbrite page. Because every time you write a dinner with Doc, you need to create a new. Um, it'll give you a unique URL. Okay, so that's that. So if you're all happy with everything, check it out one more time. Everything looks good. Then what you do is you close to preview one last time. And we're going to publish it. Okay, once you publish it, you get um, some tips here. You'll be able to send invitations, publicize, and everything else, but you don't need to do any of that stuff right now. So now that it's published, you'll be able to see it live. And then once you get your domain name registered, you can point it to this page. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions about setting it up or about converting your PDF to an image so you can place it in here to the body, um, we can do that for you as well. Um, so, I think that's just about it on setting up your Eventbrite. Um, you have any questions? Let me know. Thanks.